in some cases they were trying to please me or they were uh, trying to uh, refute me or whatever. In other words, I saw that the experimental situation uh, was not just a, uh, a blank uh, a thing like, a, say, a, a chemical reagent would be in a test tube. Uh, so I wrote this paper in order to systematize these casual observations. And uh, when I did that, I was anticipating, as it turned out later, a trend that had developed about 20 years later uh, by people like Rosenthal and Orn, uh, who made their reputations on the basis of this uh, research. Uh, concepts like experimental bias, uh, concepts of uh, demand, uh, and so on. Uh, I had actually formulated most of these ideas quite systematically, point by point. Um, I use different terms, of course. Uh, actually, uh, I think some of my terms are, are better suited than the ones that were uh, what, what, what used was later. What were some of those terms? Well, uh, opinion error was one of the terms. Um, motivational error. Uh, things like pride on the part of the subject, uh, which was working into the uh, results he was giving me, um, which of course wasn't supposed to be involved. Uh, and as I say, negativism or compliance uh, and so on, depending upon the personality of the subject. So that the subject, whom I, I came to call him an experimentee, uh, I was the experimenter and the subject wasn't really subject. He wasn't really subjected to what I was doing. Uh, so I coined the term, or I, I thought I coined the term, experimentee. I found out later that it was, there was exactly such a word in the unabridged Webster's uh, Second International Dictionary.